Hi everyone, it's Deb. Welcome to the positivity movement of sorts um, that is was started by Jen Evers. I'm trying to do this every Monday, as you know, if you watch my channel before, and if not, welcome to my channel. Um, every Monday, we come on and we keep a can and we write down at least one positive thing that happened in the prior week. So on Monday, we're doing from the previous Monday through Sunday. So I have a couple positives. The first one is on Monday mornings, I weigh in. So one, I'm on this healthy journey, right? I did, I lost three pounds in one week. And part of that was I did get to the gym, but only once, but I did, I went. So uh, last week. So that's my first positive. Two, um, I am sticking with the planning thing and really working hard to keep up with everything and get them done on time. Um, and so far I've done everything but one, well, everything that but one video on time. And actually the one video that I didn't have on time, I actually did, but something happened in YouTube video editing and it went bad. But and so I had to re-upload, but it was originally up on time. Anyway, um, I'm going to just put it as sticking with the plan. Um, I'm, I can feel myself changing my mindset. And um, the third thing, which is going to bring me back to the second thing, is yesterday um, my son and I whose name is Christopher. I'll just put Chris because he likes that better, but I like Christopher, of course. Anyway, uh, Chris and I cleaned out the pantry and two food cupboards. Now, there was a second reason for that, which I won't get into here, but suffice it to say, we well, I'll just tell you, we had those little moths flying everywhere that are like from the flower stuff and I'm like I don't I don't know that I have I have found an old bag of flour in the back of one cupboard and it was gross it was just covered but anyway in a couple other boxes it looked like they were starting to get anyway we had three trash bags of trash yesterday and luckily it was Sunday night it was trash night for for this morning and um, we never we usually have at most a bag for the week so um, sometimes, well, sometimes too, or if there's yard work, then there's the yard stuff. But anyway, so we have been wanting to do this for a long time and we did it. We cleaned them out. We, I scrubbed them. He scrubbed one of them cause I couldn't reach and even on a stool. And, um, I also just tried to get rid of stuff that would not all of it, but a lot of it that would be detrimental to sticking with my food plan. So in sticking with my plan, um, th really this plan, I started a food log and exercise log. And it does help when I write down um, everything that I put in my mouth every day and I'm honest with myself, which I have been, um, it, it really helps. So like if I, I'm having a, a sweet attack. I'm like, okay, I had to write this in the log, you know, <laughs> what am I going to eat that's going to A, help my journey for healthy living and weight loss and um, also what, um, what alternative can I do if I'm wanting a candy bar because I don't have those in the house now. <laughs> I really don't. I have a couple of Hershey Kisses left, but if I eat one of them a day, or every three days, I feel like I'm doing a lot better because I mean, there for a while, well, let me put it this way at Christmas time, every single one of my neighbors, no, that's not true. Every single neighbor, except one <laughs> gave us either cookies or candy or candy and cookies, or, you know, I just, my whole kitchen. And then Christopher brought stuff home from work that he got and then my daughter gave us some stuff anyway and then the girl scout cookies we still have some girl scout cookies but i am really trying hard not to eat them i did cheat and had three one day i logged it 
And then I just had to eat a salad that night to help make up for that. But I'm trying to get in the mindset, you see, of, oh my gosh, that really set me back. So I don't want to do that again. So I'd rather go and eat an apple or half an apple with a little bit of peanut butter with it. You know, that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with my plan for Amalia's, the whole crafty plan. Um, but that's also getting me in the mindset for some plans I have for around the house, like the kitchen. Um, so this was a this was kind of a must. And my next two that I want to do uh, before I get to my own room is my uh, linen closet and my coat closet because they're just like a disaster. There's stuff in there, probably old medicines in the linen closet. We have them outside the bathroom because it's not big enough to keep them in there. Anyway, I digress again. Um, so there's probably things in there that have expired that have to go, you know, that kind of stuff. And my towels are starting to get ratty. I want to organize them better and just see if there's things that I can donate or whatever. So it's sort of like Amalia has D stash or donate, you know, kind of thing where I can't de-stash my linen closet, but I can either trash it uh, or donate it, but I, I need to go through it for sure. So once I get those done, then I start on my room. So, and in addition to that, I still have to get to the craft room, but it's, it's keeping me motivated, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I highly suggest if you're on any kind of healthy living journey um or weight loss journey that you keep a log and it's a separate book and i keep it in my kitchen or next to my computer table downstairs in my living room where i sit my i have a little it's almost like a tv tray but it folds out and it's perfect for my computer and that is right next to my sofa in front of me when I'm downstairs, so, um, cause my laptop follows me up and down, which is a pain in the butt, but anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, I keep it right there. So if I grab something out of the kitchen to snack on, I sit in front of the computer, I log it. I log it right there. So it goes between my kitchen and my computer little table. Um, and that's where it's going to stay. And I just started it for this week for this morning. And I weighed in and wrote that right at the top of the week. Um, so I know where I'm at for next week. And I hope I can lose at least two more pounds. Because my goal was five pounds for February. Uh, I didn't tell that to too many people. Because I February was already started when I started on this. And I figured that was an achievable goal. I didn't want to make it too high and never be able to achieve it. Ten pounds would have been way too much for me to achieve in, you know, uh, probably less than two-thirds of a month when I started. So anyway, all right, I lost three pounds. Yay, sticking with the food plan and exercise for the most part. I have to get better at the exercise and still improvement in the food too, but I am working on that as we gradually get rid of some of the bad stuff in the house. Um, sticking with the crafty plan as well, and we did make progress in cleaning out the kitchen cupboard, so that's motivation to keep going with other cupboards and closets in the house. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let you go. This video is too long already, and I hope you have a great week. Stay positive and join us along this journey. We'd love to see your, your videos on positivity, and maybe it'll inspire others as well. So hugs, love, and peace. Have a great one.